Michael Gove's spot checks in schools eliminate extremism? Will Michael Gove's spot checks eliminate extremism in his life? Um, well, I hope so. Um, it was a very unedifying spectacle, wasn't it? Um, two members of the cabinet blaming each other for a problem that um, uh, is fairly serious. But luckily, Ofsted have gone in. They've they've put in their reports. Twenty-one schools. Five of them are in special measures. Eleven need improving, and there is evidence there that they found extremely worrying. So yes, something needed to be done, and it is being done. And the evidence there is very worrying of that sort of fundamental. Um, uh, attempt to take over school. What it was the actual evidence? Because there were a lot of words used, but what was the evidence? Um, oh, the, the evidence was it, was it was a culture of fear and intimidation, um, segregation going on, um, uh, uh, a curriculum which was not allowing for biology, um, girls doing music, drama. Um, there's a huge amount of it in the inner teachers. Yeah, I mean, there are 20, 20 odd um, whistleblowers who we mentioned earlier who've got gagging clauses who complained. The idea that this is some sort of political put-up job. The, the council received 200 complaints about these schools from parents and teachers. No one did anything at all until it blew up and then we watched the cabinet throwing um, you know, chunks of um, blame at each other. But it's not, I don't think we should be distracted by that story. Something was going very badly wrong. I know your movement is called Hands Off the Schools. Well, I'm all for that. Hands off the governors. Get your hands off. And let's have some local accountability to have these schools take the same line as schools in all the rest of the country. That's the sort of schooling that I think works and stops extremism coming in.